It's Plush Boy Q here, and we're not on Plush Boy Q channel on YouTube. We're actually on my new one, uh, the official Jurassic Park slash World channel. Uh, I, re I really had to put Plush Boy Q at it. For some reason, fucking YouTube said, nope, you cannot do that. Because that is a, that's someone else's name. They probably think it's a hate one. No, it's me. I wish I could give them a comp like a, 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 a code just to tell them, hey, assholes, it's me. So this is based off Jurassic Park and World. Um, I'll be right back, you guys. I'll be, I'll be a little bit. Bye. So, um, I'm trying to find, um, because of uh, my, my legacy Brachiosaurus. I actually took the stickers off on all of them before I, um, I always take them off. I didn't tell one of the feet. It looks ugly. I actually kept two. I have my Legacy Spinosaurus, which I actually have with me. And here comes the old man. Well, he's just... First, I'm going to show you my, um, Grab and Go Indoraptor, which is in there as well, the basket. So, I'm going to try and let you all get this the best I can, but... Here it is. That's his phone. It makes a lot of noise. I was trying to um, find some more stickers for you guys on the internet. Sorry, but here it is. Come on, focus. Crap. Please pick this up. It's perfect. It's upside down, you guys. The words are. All right, now the um paper got crumbled, but I actually got the sticker on there. I even circled it. Being yeah, fucking sarcastic, piece of crap. This is the Legacy Spinosaurus. I swear it is. Go check out my other channel, Plush Boy Q, and you can go check out the full unboxing. I still have to upload that one video. The two new roar wars. Spoilers. One of them not work, and that's my other. That's still the other price stops. Alright guys. So there there is a difference between good Jurassic toys and bad Jurassic toys. Yo man. Oh. He said he was going to pick up dog turds. He he was us. He um just go out and get some. We have one doggy. That's my doggy, Marco. Marco, come out of the light. You being an angel. All right. There's my real field Mosasaurus. No, this is one of my very first ones. Before I even started going hardcore collecting. Sorry, no sticker on them. There's no sticker on all of them. I know I'm kind of a creep by doing that, but who cares? Now. I'm gonna show these off someday. I got I got like two more coming. So um yeah, we had to they'll be here. Mm. No scratching. Yeah, he cannot scratch. Marco, come here. Show show us your scab. To tell the other doggies to not scratch. See, look, he scratches all the time. Here's my uh, it's one of them. This is my Legacy Spinosaurus. No joke, no scam. It's the real one. The sticker I showed you came off of this bad boy. Um, I got this yesterday, actually. It came from the post. It came from the Royal Mail. It's kind of cool. How I actually got something from overseas. Here's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Destroy and devour Dominus Rex. Uh, I'm just gonna show you like three of them. Yep, that's a sh very shitty Hasbro 2015 Jurassic World Allosaurus. We're going to compare the two. I'm sure other people have. Now, thankfully, that's the only one I got. And I got that before all of this was starting to go on about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And. The and COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever we have. 
got color in them. I got my cards. Now, I actually have a lot more dinosaurs in my room. That will be in my, my ultimate collection video. Um, I have an, uh, another Velociraptor blue attack pack because I was making and putting extra paint on it, like making a better stripe and painting the claws. I decided to go gloss the eye. We didn't have it. My aunt had to go to the store and get some nail polish, a clear one, and she got the top coat, which actually takes off paint. Now, before, now, don't ever use gloss unless you absolutely know what you're doing. And only do it on, well, actually, don't even freaking use it at all. Um, I got a lot of... Sorus, Gallimimus, Current Taurus. Now, I like this pose on the Gallimimus, but I, I can only find it in Battle Damage. I've started really collecting these around last school year. The dog of the 2019 for all you kids. I'm just trying to find my blue. It's the attack pack. There it is. First thing we're going to show you the good side. It's all good. Except the freaking eye. See, look. Here's, yeah, that's a bite. Look at blue. I painted her claws. I painted her stripe. Makes it look better. I even freaking extended the damn thing. But I wanted to gloss up the eye. And look what happened. My ants come out. Look. Don't ever use top coat. Or base coat. It's that's what it would do to your figures. Now I had to actually go get my aunt to get me another one. It was about fifteen dollars, which is twice the price as an attack pack you get in the store. Now we saw I, I actually saw one at on Walmart. It said in store pickup only. That was last night. Turns out, I was actually at that Walmart, the one it's saying in-store pickup earlier that day, earlier yesterday. They only had three attack packs, and they had like two or two of each. They had, um, Velociraptor Charlie, they had one Delta. I don't remember if they had a Necro, but I know they had, um, and they had the, um, Mosaurus, which is in my other room. And, um, I'm trying to think. There was another one. Um, they did. The Walmart that... All three of them. I'm from the northern Kentucky area. Like, my mom lives at the very northern tip. That's up in Campbell County. I'm in Boone County, which is a little farther south. Well, oops, damn it. A little farther west. It's south and west from Cincinnati. So, um, yeah, we don't get a whole lot of good stuff. I just got my Savage Shack assortment. Only three of them. Just, just yesterday. You know what? I lied. It was the day before yesterday. And then that was April. And they're supposed to come out in January. Guess what? It's not Mattel's fault. Well, it kind of is Mattel's fault. Because they keep putting all the same old shit. In their boxes. And then they keep sending more than one box. Walmart says. We don't know what's in the box. So we just open it. And we put it out. So anyway. I got here are my cards. See that thick. Got a bunch of duplicates from broken ones. So. I actually got a little bit of paint on this. By accident. Because it was on my desk. I was painting something else. Hey buddy. So I got with my aunt, she wanted to bring the dog vet and tell me that I had to do some more of my paperwork for my school because schools are closed everywhere. So basically, this is a bad, bad Allosaurus. And if you're doing battle damage, for it, there's two ways you can do it. A, you can just paint scars on there or carve in scars like you did there. But that's in a very bad spot. If you want to, just, it's better if you just paint them on with sick paint, and just like, if you want to do like a, a ribs or a side, do it like the Mattel ones. See, look, very cool. Now, the only bad thing about that is, on, a, on like a 
smooth-skinned dinosaur like Gallimimus. It would not have any bumps. Now, let's say it can just be like a cyst or sty or whatever. But no, we, we don't want that. We don't want that on every single one of them. It would not be an engine accident. It just makes it look bad. I mean, it's the only way to do it. And if you want to, at least let us cut the thing off. Because look, it's made out of hard plastic. I can't really knock on it. See, look. Third or fourth one. Well, basically, this is an Allosaurus. My friend Gabe, he got it for me as a welcome back gift to a shitty town called Dayton, called Dayton, Kentucky. It's a very small town. Uh, doesn't really have that many people. Like, I want to say about 5,000 or so. I don't really know. You can go look it up. It's kind of a shitty town. Full of shit people and full of shitty places. So I'm in Florence. Quiet neighborhood of Florence, so it's kind of nice. Look, well, the good thing is about this one is it stands better. That's all I can give for that one. Yeah, make, make fun of this one. Because it's shit. It's kind of blurry in some places in the room. And the really bad thing is they put freaking screw holes. Really, really smart, Hasbro. At least put the screw holes on the side where the battle damage is. So we we have to choose our fate on which one. I the tail is kinda short. But that's on all Jurassic ones. See look, it stands better. Yep, that's all I can give it. And with this is this is the definition of great Jurassic toys. In my opinion, I think it's better than the Kinder toys. You can make fun of me right now, I don't care. It's just I'm, I was born in 2005. I just turned 15 the other day. I turned 15 on Monday. Last Monday. So, um... My thing is... I have more experience with the Mattels. Um, what I do is... is I'm like... Displaying them on a shelf or something. Which I never do. I put fun tack in its mouth. It's, no, it's not fucking chewing gum. I put fun tack on the roof of the mouse. Or wherever in the mouse. And it kind of holds it in place. Because some of these, are the, the only good thing about, well, there's only like two bad things about these, and that's it, about it. One, the mouth stays open. What you got to do is you got to hold the button down. No sticker there. Sorry. It's one of my first ones. Yeah, you have to hold it shut. Or you can just freaking do it like that, but that looks bad. That This is kind of... And every time you want to hold the mouth shut, if you let go one time and you close the mouth again, you got to make the roar. Now, there is, there is a good example on what you can do. The Ceratosaurus. This one comes closed, then you open it up. Why couldn't Mattel do it like this with all of their roars? People don't all... People shouldn't... Really don't care, but this some people, some part of the population will care. They don't want the mouth to just stay open on their shelf. So I kind of got the idea of putting fun tag. You can get that in like, like in Walmart, Meyer. Most stores should have it. Not like dollar stores, but like super stores. They should have it. You just gotta look right. It's really not that much, and you get a good amount. The one I use is a bright blue. So, yeah. And this one doesn't really... These, the Roarvors aren't really the greatest at standing, or any of the, um... These theropods are the ones with, um, two feet. And they make all of them where their tails are, like, sticking straight up. Which is fine. That's kind of accurate. Like this pro ceratosaurus. And what you really could do. Make all the roars better. By their like. How they talk and stuff. This one. Is Sour Strike Kylophosaurus. For Primal Attack Wave for 2020. So look. This is a manually open jaw. 
That's what I call it. You open it up by yourself. You don't have any buttons. There's no buttons on this thing. How do how you make the sound? You, you just got to touch the neck. Or the tail. Well, well, the tail controls the neck. That's the entire thing about um, Primal Attack. Uh, that's only for some of the 2020 ones. Just do it like that. And there's something that I call the locking position. Now, really, it's kind of in feet. Well, I mean, arms. But it's really in feet. Like, whenever you turn, like, your Thrax and Zero Tyrannosaurus Rex, like, you, um, you swivel the feet around, it kind of looks bad, because you have to have it, like, the one spot. At least you don't have to worry about it, but to get a, the best place for you can get a figure to stand is when you hear when you can't feel this. You'll know. You, trust me, you will know. This Proceratosaurus, it actually came open. I got it at, at Kroger Marketplace. That's where sometimes you'll get lucky with some of the older ones. You'll get, get them there. But there's really one bad thing. The Rorovars. Fucking twenty dollars, nineteen nine nine. Even me, they're nine nine nine. That's how much a Savage Strike is. And that those are only about fifteen. Sometimes I think they're like fourteen, thirteen. I just say they're fifteen. When I want one, I just have fifteen ready. And I'll show you how this one stands. Now, life will just probably make it stand. But look, well, that's right. And another, and if you want your figures to stand good, but, um, they're bipedal, just give them big feet. Not, not like the Sukumimus. And that's how both of them, the Dino Rivals and this one, and mine actually work. I must have stepped on it or something, but instead of, it's just like the Carnotaurus. It just hangs open, which I think is kind of better. I don't know. Feels better on this one, but it only does it sometimes. But it will kind of bounce a little bit. You can still open the mouth wider if you just, um. Ah. Uh, hate doing it with one hand. Yeah. You can kind of let, get it like to roar. But it's super hard because once you put the neck down far enough, it'll go back to its normal spot. You're not going outside, you're just outside. Yep. Old man's on the grass. These old people, the old man's on the grass. Now, what you, a good example on big, heavy feet is the Adominus Rex. The destroy, yeah, shut up, Cryolophosaurus. The destroy, oh, pillow. This one has big, strong, well, it's not strong, it's just heavy. You want, if you're like doing feet or entire legs, don't give it tiny feet like that. You want bigger feet. I know it bothers a lot of people. Oh, the feet's just too big. It's for standing a lot of things. The well, the bottom of the figure where you get get to stand and balance right are, are like feet. You want heavy feet. Now, when I was talking about it turning, see, look, that just looks really bad. It doesn't line up, and Mattel never paints the goddamn dew gloss. Or whatever the hell you call those right there. You have to paint it yourself. It's not going to hurt you, Marco. I used to torment him with this. Look, this stands on my f on the couch. Move the paper. See, look, it stands great. And look at this one. Let's put it on the couch again. Oh, shit. No. Well, it stands on the couch. It won't stand on my carpet. And usually, all that matters is that it stands on a hard surface. Like a table. So, um, yeah, um, I, I can go over my cards real quick, but it probably will not take long. Well... It probably will not take long at all. Well, you can kind of see my Plesiosaurus. The um, Savage Strike. Do you mind if I hit the pause button? And so I can get the band off? Too bad. 
All right, I got my cards out. I'm actually going to just slip them upside down like that. So, you know, that's plesiosaurus in class. It really could have repackaged the mosasaurus. That would be a neat one to have just for the card. All right, concavenator. No. Um, the blackish one. With the red little bump. Or the pump, sorry. Some of these actually, one of them, my Amargosaurus, I was taking the tape off and it just kind of failed. It got sticky. Parasaurus, I don't know why we can't get it in, the, in these positions. Because Mattel tries to get our um, expectations to go higher than what they should. There's Velociraptor Blue. And we'll get the stats on these. Go right ahead. Be my guest. There's that. You can probably pause it. There's that. And there's those. That's there. Um, here's the Ankylosaurus. Now I actually have two others of these. Um, doesn't really matter because they're the exact same. Not like they're different colors. They're the exact same. Because one of them, um, I really don't remember. Okay, I remember. I was going from my mom's to here, my, my aunt's house. I, I dumped out the bag. And I saw the leg. Well, I saw the body first. The leg was somewhere else in the bag. So there's the Anglosaurus. The second one, we got one. It lasted a while, but then I took the batteries out of all the ones that make noise for a while. Say about three months. So I wanted to put the batteries back in. A lot of the batteries were just busted. Like, if it shows green, just throw it out. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh. Sometimes I'll use my bite and fight T Rex, which I have, but then I'm no scratching. Cause I don't want Marco to get a scab on him. Oh, he, another one. He has a really big one. Marco, come here. Show us your scab, buddy. I don't think y'all seen it. It's like a really. I think I showed you all. Um, um, um I think I did. So. It would not work. The biting feature will not work, but the tail still does. The button was just jammed. And the, something in the neck didn't work. So here's your stat. I have two of them. Now, I might sell them all on eBay in like five years. When these are actually going to get pretty popular. They all have their own certain numbers. Like blue, 36. Parasaur life is 17. Concavenator, 26. Um... Some of them actually have the same number for two different cards. I think it's because there, like there's a red one, an orangish yellow, a green, and there's a blue. And, um, yeah. Parasolophus is 17, Anglosaurus is 17, but the, the color of the cards different. Green, yellow. I'm trying to hurry up. Sticky Milllock Stiggy came with the Savage Strike, which is actually... Really stinking cool. I like it. It doesn't have that clicking thing. So that's good. I have the Savage Strike Pachycephalosaurus. Which makes the clicking sound. I actually have two of those. Because I played with the first one so much. I, re I really liked it. I didn't think I would. But I got it. But I really liked it a lot. So the little clicking. It just kind of stopped. And it just got jammed. This one doesn't really do that. This one is on um, the Baryonyx. Well, oops, Stratosaurus. Right, this is my second one. I got two of those. One of them just stopped roaring. It just did not. Actually, I lied. I put the batteries in like a month ago. On most of them. I just forgot to take the tape off. When I first got my Baryonyx, which is the only one I got. I have one coming, which is the original. I got the bow damage one, but I kind of painted it. And I got the green one. There's your stats. There's your number. 26. Same as that one. Green. I'll show you my battle damage, Baryonyx. I painted over. Get your freaking nose and head out of there. Yep, I put fun tack in his mouth. Eh. I kind of paint it to make it look more like the original. I'm just going to throw that. Well, I, I think I attempted to paint the claws 
Um, I didn't paint the nails when I painted the toenails. It, this is one that does not make noise. It originally didn't make noise. But, um, I'm trying to think. I, I painted the entire underbelly, but I kind of stopped where my toe would usually stop because I was in that kind of phase. Let me kind of move his arms out. Yeah, I kind of painted his underbelly. I actually got the shade super close. It was actually on point. I didn't paint the joints, which I really should have. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It still looks nice. He looks nicer on the camera. Cause, well, don't. That's actually what that was actually a mold, but I painted it the best I could. So that's the Baryonyx. So, oh, damn, what else? Oh, yeah, I gotta show you this side. I painted more, I painted blue on it, because I just kind of wanted to. It had a blue, it was like a really, like a terracotta-like color, brick colored, but blue. I put more blue on it, and I painted the, the, the snout, the top of it like that, all blue. There might be, I'm trying to find that bit of Sharpie I used. Um, I did have to use a piece of sharp, a little bit of Sharpie, because, um, I didn't, like, get the paint back out, so I just used Sharpie. Nope. Uh, there it is. Somewhere around there, there's a tiny little bit of the dark, shiny-ass blue, but I kind of, my stupid me, just stopped right past the legs of his. There was battle damage. There were just two places, and they were both on this side. Which is kind of not common because battle damage is usually found on that side. But they put it on this side. Um, it was on the neck. You can kind of tell where the shading ends. But I tried to like, make it fade in. And there are some on the on what, what you call a thigh. I don't know. On the upper leg. Yeah. That's very honest. That's, and that does not have a card. Battle damage and legacy figures do not have cards. Except that must be one of those ones like I said. This is one of the... That's the jumping raptor. The one, the, the, that one, but the feathers aren't showing. I actually have it. I didn't go out and buy the cards because no one, nobody was selling the cards. I mean, nobody. Cyracosaurus. I should go show you the numbers. 17. Wow, we got two 17s. And they're both green, so my thing is kind of wrong. Your stats. God, I said I would hurry up with this. This is the Baryonyx. When I was taking it out of the box, it ripped. It ripped. I was so mad. I was like really, really upset. I don't know what that is. I'm stuck on the tape too. So this card probably won't go for very much. Things like um maybe the Parasaurolophus, the Cyrusaurus probably do good. So that was for fifteen five years from now. Here, that's the Baryonyx. Oh, here are your numbers. And here are the numbers for the Velociraptor, because I didn't show you that one yet. There, I, we want to hurry up. There's one that sticks. There's, there's the Protoceratops. Um, I might show you all these again later on, but I'm showing you now. This is the other concavenator. It's cool because it kind of re reversed it. One's looking to the left, the other's looking to the right. I have both. Got that at Kroger. I didn't want to get it, but my aunt made me. Because you'll want it later. And she would have been right. I would have wanted it later. Here are the things. Oh, all of these are just. Dicking. There's this Triceratops, the um zebra striped, the male, what I call it. Number twenty-two. Dimorphodon. I really like this one. It's the only dimorphodon figure that I got. The rest are just the, the ones that you get with the freaking mercenaries and the one that came with the Baryonyx breakout. There's that one. Or oh, we're almost at thirty minutes. The Draco Rex. There's two Draco Rexes. The attack pack and another repaint of an of an attack pack that's in a playset that I only got at Meyer. The Mosaurus, Jum. 
three three two two ten. This one I actually got. Well, that one I got accident. I got paint on them, but it's like the water that was, that you put the paint in. It's really, really black and thick. So I'm sure I can wash that off. The front side of this one actually looks good, and that's Velociraptor Echo. And Charlie's just ruined. Well, this is Delta. The back of that one, fine. This one, that's okay. This one, oh, this is Charlie. Thing is, the back of this one's fine, but the front of it just ruined. It's a lot of gray. But I have been trying to get it off. Do like that. That doesn't really work the greatest. Well, um, I'm sure I can get another one super easy. Here's the Nasuda Ceratops. That is actually oversized. Yeah. You could have made it smaller. There's the type of jar. When I got this card, it actually came like that. And I was pissed. It was a rare figure. It got delayed around Christmas time last year. Still got it. I use it as my primal tax. So there's Dino Rivals. There's this one. Oh, there, there's the other Draco Rex. See, it's, it's the same thing. It's kind of looking the other way. Left, right. Um, this one, there's its stats. I wasn't really that bad to get. It's 20 bucks. That's the bad thing about the price. It's going to take at least a half a day to upload. Right for Rinkus, I actually got lucky. I went to um, a mire in a, in a state away up in Ohio with my, sis, with my sister. I actually got I actually got this with this Dyracosaurus. They actually had a Solaris up there, which I got at the a uh, different mire. Well, now I usually have bad luck out yeah, here's the first around Solaris. Uh, oh well. Here's the Mononychus. I just, out with my grandpa, we found it. I'm like, you know what? I'll get it. And it was around, um, I don't remember. Uh, sometime in November. I don't remember. But I had a nasty blister. I touched a, a, a glass stove top when it was black, and I had a blister. I can't remember which finger because it kind of healed a Ah, uh, I have to look at a picture. I don't even have one. I just sent it to my mom. Oh, that, I just got that. I don't know. We just randomly got that thing. Yep. Stegosaurus. The Margosaurus. The Almaya Margosaurus. It kind of got sticky, see? Listen. You heard that, right? It's sticky. And it's that kind of sticky where you...